Hello everybody and welcome back for some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode we made absolutely no progress at all. So in this episode we're going to hopefully make some progress and um, hopefully start the, next or the first dungeon in the entire game. So yep, yeah. let's go and talk to Kamali. And this was originally live recording so I'm going to just like summarise Kamali's um, speech. In a nutshell, and I actually forgot that you had to show the letter to him. <laughs> I always do that, so yeah. Aww. A letter from my father. And basically, Kamali is scared, upset, frightened, in set emotion here. Um. Basically, we have to somehow make Valu happy. <laughs> Bragging doesn't cost a thing. So. Well, I cleared that long spiel in a nutshell quite fast, so yeah. I love Kamali's room, it's so well detailed in that. Like, I didn't look around, I meant to, but yeah. So now, after um, we've talk talked to Kamali, which we have done, um, we have to go and find Medley. I think that's how you pronounce it. I hope it is, but yeah, it doesn't matter. So, um, if you remember in the last episode, um, she uh, will be down at the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern. And I don't know why I was going this way. Uh, there's a mini game there, but we won't be doing it just yet because uh, there's a red room piece from it, and I've maxed out my rupee wallet, so. Uh, that's why I'm bypassing it now, but I will be doing it later. I promise. And if we go come to the top of uh, this overlook thing, you can see Medley's down there. Just a dot. What are you doing, Link? Jump in! No! Um, so we go through here and it leads to Dragon Roost Cavern Entrance. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. No, no, the bomb flowers are withered. <sighs> and here's Medley. Hey, you actually came! I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need help desperately. You see, this place, there used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful, peaceful and lovely. But then, the great Baloo, he became so angry, but in his rage, he shook the mountain, and this boulder cake crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where's my mind? Tell me, how's Prince Kamali? Um, Link just looks at her and she somehow um, managed to think that's a bad thing either you know um, I don't know how she can tell from his facial expression and she's talking about an attendant that she's trying that she looks up looks up to um, or looks up to her, I don't know um, I missed what it said so yeah And we'll help her because Link is a good little boy. And Link picks her up and so we have to pay attention to the, where the wind is blowing and throw her because that was a good... Um, 
That's actually really lucky because sometimes I'm like waiting like two or three minutes for the, well not maybe two or three minutes but maybe a minute or something um, for the wind to blow in the right direction. I've always been unlucky on, at this, on this bit so uh, yeah. And we get the bottle, the empty bottle. And bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. Oh, please don't tell anyone I am that I'm climbing up Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. So, uh, we equip the bottle and there's some water here, so... Uh, was it safe for the water? You fill the bottle with the water. Try pouring on something that is, looks dry and withered. Like the bump flowers, for example. There are five bomb flowers and I always, when I was little I always used to like water them all. <laughs> I don't know why but it was so funny um, thinking about it now. At least in my opinion. Oh that was too close. Now I can get this on the first try, or well, at least in my past playthroughs it has been that way. Oh second time lucky. It took me on my first playthrough what I can vaguely remember of it, I, I think it took me about Four tries before I managed to hit the rock. My timing wasn't the best when I was little. <laughs> I don't know why, but what, I, I like the water in this area. Like it's it's so grey in that. I, I've always. I don't know, I just really like uh, the water in this area and now we've got to play a bit of basketball with bombs and I'm having a really hard time with it. Come on. Oh come on, what? That was terrible. I think, yeah, I managed, no. Come on. Why am I having such a hard time on this? And I managed to get hit in the process. How did I manage? To, well, we got it there. The second one can be kind of tricky, but I really had a hard time with the first one, which I, I've never really had. Be well, before. Come on. There we go. Finally. Don't know how many tries it took, but you know. Managed to get it in the end. And this is Dragon Roost Cavern. That probably sounded really un un unenthusiastic. I'll promise I'll be more enthusiastic for the next one. Like, I, don't, I don't know. Um, like, I, I don't know. I think Dragon Roost Cavern has never been my favourite dungeon. That might be why I sound so enthusiast unenthusiastic about it. So. Yeah. And we got more buckled the coblins. Ooh. Managed to hit two down. Come on. I think if you hit them with fire, I think they go down quicker. I don't know, I've never I've tried it with once but I don't really remember. And the camera angle went all funny. And we got a joy pendant. But if you also come over here, because there are two unlit torches, and if we light them both, we get a treasure chest. And what, can what is contained inside the treasure chest? Well, we'll soon find out in three, two, one. A small key. <laughs> and you can see there, there's a, a key with the number one next to it. That's how many keys we have in our inventory. Uh, but now we've since we use it, it's gone back to zero. Important, maybe. Hmm. Yep. And 
where is the... Uh, don't bother. Because that'll come up to Great Link and it, it'll burn him to death. Maybe not death, but <laughs> it'll need to take away a, bit, a little bit of his heart. Or a little bit of a heart, I don't know. I don't know how many... I've never actually fallen into the uh, pit, so I don't actually know how many hearts it takes. I think it might be... I think it might be a quarter of a heart, but I don't know. Whoa, 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 nope. Yeah, when you're killing the bats, be, be careful not to blow Link up. Like I did before. And also, um, these little water vases, vases, pots, water pots. Um, throw them onto lava, it makes a platform appear for a short time. And oh, it's, it's an important chest because we got this little scene. And we got the dungeon map. Flashing areas of where you've been. And no, flashing areas where you haven't. No, oh, you forget it. I don't. I don't know what is wrong with me today. I, I can't get my facts right for some reason. And we got a new enemy. Uh, also, uh, this is red chew. This is the red chew jelly. Um, if you go to the island that's between here and Windfall. Um, I mean, um, Dragon Roost and Camp um, Windfall. <laughs> Um, I believe there are some chew, jelly, jelly, chew jellies on our island. Still was a nice uh, jump attack you did there, the Coblin. Ooh, and he's one of these sphere things that it contains a lot of rupees and a joy pendant. Um, I think you have to um, defeat the enemy in like a short time and then it spawns out. I don't know. Um, like, I've, they're, I think they're kind of random but I really don't know. Right. Whoa! What? Can I seriously get hit by a chew jelly? Because... That has never happened, especially on the first dungeon. I'm pretty sure I've got the Let's Plays curse at the minute. And another small key. Can I choose? Bye bye. And a heart, we need that. I need to leave anything. Cheap! That way, chew jellies. I don't think you really. There's not really a use for uh, red chew jellies. At least I can. Re at least what I can remember at the minute. Yeah. Now I'm having a bad time with these. And if you um, miss all the, use all the uh, rocks in the vases, then you'd have to uh, go into that room again, and then exit again like go into the room where we was before and then enter this room again if that made any sense at all um managed to do it before i ran all out of all of them when you had one rock left it can be kind of tricky like i always end up n i never get on like the first go or it, yeah <laughs> you know like it's been a while since I played this dungeon, that's probably why I the commentary is not really good. More red shoes. Whoa. Oh. And I know there's a book hobbling in there, you can't hide from me. You. You're not dead yet. There you go. Heart. 
And if we get the stick he was holding, um, but oh, oh yeah, we can't get to that room just or that little area just yet. Um, remember it for later because it's important. It's not really that important, but it may have goodies over there. And press the switch, and it opens the bars gate. Get a bar, so I don't know. And we got another one of these guys, but this time it's on a bridge. And you want to be careful because, like, if you cut the ropes on the bridge, then all oh, that could happen. Um, you could break, end up breaking the bridge. I nearly fell off again <laughs> before. Come here, you. Well, I managed to hit one of the ropes, but luckily I didn't break the bridge altogether. And I'm gonna try and get the stripe pendant. That was a little bit close for comfort, so I'm glad I managed to get it though. Got another one of these enemies. I can't remember what, exactly what they're called. Uh, I'll add an annotation. Um, uh, but they do leave us spoils, and if we get it, if we get it, um, well, if, uh, if we ever get it, then I'll I'll leave it till the end of this dungeon, and I'll or if we next encounter this enemy. I'll mention what this spoils is. Another bomb. And there's a boulder over there. Hmm. Boom. And we got this uh, little block puzzle. Um, very simple. Just pull uh, the blocks on the, on the uh, left side, and once, and then, and then you got, and then you got a way into uh, this area. The next area, I mean. And oh no, there's a there's rats here, but um, if you give if you spread a bit of bait outside the the hole that they come out of, delicious. Hey, I got something real good. I'll sell it to you. What will it be for you? Um, I don't know what that voice was. Uh, normally they they can give potions, I believe. Um, cheapskate. Bring me some more sometime. Um, you can get um. And King, Red King of Red Lions is going to mention what I just explained about the fees and rats. <laughs> but um, normally if they can give um red potions on Dragon Roost Island. I don't really remember, but yeah. Let's try again. Nom 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 nom. Delicious. Hey, I got something good for you. What will it be for you? <laughs> Sit through the text and no. Cheapskate, bring me some more sometime. More. Okay, I, I think. I don't think I'm going to get anything decent. So. And we have plenty of bait and plenty of Hyrule. Hy. Hyrule. Hy pears. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to end this episode off this, uh, now, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!